fun part about it though. It's not fun. See, I think that I think that <laughs> this is where I get really passionate about this because this conversation easily gets shrouded with like an abundance of cynicism. Right? Like suddenly it's about like, oh yeah, but they're not playing the video games that they actually like and they're doing this for to get the views or whatever. And like there is an element of that that always happens, but we have to be really careful to not slip into the cynicism of like the only reason that they're successful or the only reason that they do this is because they're getting the views or they're getting the money. That's not true. They are making strategic decisions to get eyes in front of the content. And they may not always like truly love the game, but a lot of the times they're honest about the fact that they don't truly love the game. They play the game for like one or two, three videos. And I was like, you know what, this is for me. I don't love it. Yeah. We'll finish it off, but I hate this. Um, so like we have to be really careful as like, content creators because what happens is that you see that you see someone play god of war and you seem like they're not really enjoying the game and they're not really liking it you get shrouded with the cynicism you stop believing in the ecosystem you stop believing in the process of creation because you feel like you're never going to be successful unless you engage with the same level of cynicism that you're looking at that content creator at right now and you have to be extremely careful as a content creator to not fall into that trap because it'll make you bitter. You'll look at successful people, people that are coming on up and up right now, and you're obviously like, why is that not me? They must be doing some of this other like bullshit strategies that I don't want to do. And that's not that's not the case, like 90% of the time. Sure, there's some disingenuous people, but a lot of people are making a living streaming to 500 subs uh, on Twitch, and they make enough income to live. And a lot of people are making enough income to live with like 30K subscribers on their YouTube channel. And they're making the stuff that they want to make and are having fun doing it. We just don't see a lot of those people because the YouTube ecosystem keeps recommending us people like Markiplier and Linus Tech Tips and, and PewDiePie and, yeah. and like the, the big boys. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that like when you are watching other content creators, you have to be really careful to not be cynical about their success. Oh, no, I'm not cynical about um, their success. Uh, no, I know. I'm just kind of talking in general. Yeah, yeah like but anybody. if you look at it like <clears throat> someone on the very bottom trying to come up and trying mm -hmm. to just to get exposure, they're not probably – they will never grow if they just keep playing the same – Like, Yeah, they'll never grow if they keep playing the same game, and that's yeah. when you need to evolve and adapt to the platform if you want to do content creation for something other than fun. I, th I think the goal for most people is probably like do – shit 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 and then get up to the top and be like okay now i'm comfortable and now i can start you know like i don't need a i'm fine here financially and mm -hmm. then i can just keep doing the content that like, i want to do that guy, here. dashy XP. yeah yeah I love this motherfucker been playing mario Kart 8 for like 20 years now like, yeah <laughs> i'm like Dude, uh, uh, I respect the hustle. I don't know. I don't know if we should keep name dropping like that. No, it's fine. It's fine. Talking about. I know. Talking what, about him, but it's like he's still playing that exact same fucking game. Well, yeah. he, that what that is. <laughs> that's a built-in audience. He's found yeah. a. Exact... But isn't he tired? <laughs> that's a, and, and that's really the interesting part about content creation is that at some point you really do have to like, because we are variety people by nature. Just by by virtue of the content that we do, we like to review games. We like to review movies. We're not looking at the same piece of media over and over and over again. We, we switch it up quite a bit. So that s strategy seems asinine to us because like, how can you look at the same thing for 10 years and not get, not fucking want to blow your brains out? Yeah. I know people that exclusively stream Fall Guys. Exclusively <laughs> stream Fall Guys. And they're making a fucking- Oh yeah, I do too. Uh, no, fucking no. Um, I don't fucking know. I thought the game died like a week. And it, but <laughs> it, it blows my mind. But the thing is that we, and, and, and this is, <laughs> This is kind of an annoying thing to say because it sounds too optimistic. I think it, it sounds like I hate cynicism. I hate Me the, too. I hate the cynicism that has shrouded internet culture. And I hate the idea that like, oh, everything's a money grab. Everything's this. Everything's that. Everything's the other thing. It has no meaning. And it's like, no, these people are making their money, but they're trying to have fun doing this type of content. And does it come with some drawbacks? Yeah. Would you, would you be able to ever do everything that you want to do? Probably not. You know, but a lot of these content creators that we're talking in the mid-level are making a living doing what they want. And they just have their audiences because they spend a lot of time building up that audience. True. And they have that audience. And I think that the, the, the thing that I just, because I keep hearing and it's just like, oh, he's just popular because he started early or he's just 
she's uh, just she's just popular because she's a girl, or she's just popular because I have this built-in audience. That's not to say like, though that that's not like in some cases. That some cases that is like what it is, but it's not for everybody. Yeah, I, I gen- yeah. agree. I genuinely believe like if we went back in time and did the exact same thing, we would be market level. Oh no, no, I I totally we, agree with that. Yeah. but that's.